Hi, this is Tony from ministryofchildren.com. In this video, I want to show you an object lesson that I've been using um, recently in our church here to help kids think about the consequences of sin and righteousness. One of the biggest struggles for me with my own kids and kids in the ministry is how to get a kid to make the choice to do right even though they don't think no one's going to catch them. So what I'm doing in this object lesson is trying to apply some biblical wisdom about practicing sin and practicing righteousness and how when you get on one path it makes it easier and easier to go the wrong way and how if you get on the other path it makes it easier and easier to do the right things. So this is not um, some kind of moralistic lesson but this is just um, some realities from life what happens um, when we fight sin or we cooperate with sin. So check it out. I'd love to hear what you think. It's kind of like when David first learned to dribble the basketball. It wasn't always pretty. But he kept practicing and he got better at it. So now he can do it very well. In fact, he can do it sometimes without even paying attention. And that's kind of what it's like to practice sin and to practice righteousness. When you're doing one of them over and over and over, it gets easier. So before long, if you're lying to people and stealing things, you don't think much about it. And if you are practicing righteousness before long, loving people and sharing your stuff and doing good unto others and praying becomes natural to you. So there's a little object lesson from basketball about practicing sin and practicing righteousness.